It's morning once again here in Gainesville, Georgia on beautiful Lake Lanier. And we're in the middle of this hurricane project. And I did some work. I got everything gridded. And my daughter, Elizabeth, wants me to explain a little bit more about the math. Because I have to do some math with my trusty calculator, which I can't do without. Once again, on a circle, you have to have an even number for it to come out black, white, black, white, black, white, and be come out evenly all the way around. So I measured, and sure enough, it was really perfect for what I'm trying to do. Now, around the bottom here, it was 15 inches. Now you say, that's not an even amount. Well, that's 15 inches. I want to divide it into half inches, so you uh, multiply 15 times 2, and you get 30, yay, which is an even a number. So I'll have my uh, even number, perfect number for my half inch royal squares around the bottom. Around the mid size, it was 17, which again is an odd number. But I want it in half inches, so you double that, and it's 34, which is even, so it works out perfect. And up top, same thing as the bottom. Uh, I wanted, I had to do, I forget what I did, I think I did one and a half inch. Uh, the design up here was one and a half inches, and it worked out. So that's how I do it, but <clears throat> I, on a circle, I used my trusty uh, measuring tape. And then when I'm marking off, I cut a little piece of cardboard that I marked off inch marks. And because this is all curvy and I'm trying to draw with my little marker that I put over there, I don't have it here now, but the little felt marker that will wipe off with a fine point. <coughs> Excuse me. And I would use this to, uh, and you know what? I have to put on my gloves before I can touch this glass so that I don't get fingerprints on it. And I forgot to get my gloves. So I'm going to get them in just a minute when I change to my close-up camera. But I would lay this little cardboard because it will bend in these curves and then draw my little design. And I have to do a lot of marking. For this design up here, I had to put dots to make the triangles and the little triangles. And, oh, well, actually, they're, uh, oh, what is that shape? What is that shape? It's a diamond, a diamond shape. A diamond shape in the middle and triangles in between. Uh, and so I'm going to start painting. I've already done some of the black. I'm going to finish when I get my close-up camera, and we will start. But one thing I wanted to say, and it may still be that way today, uh, yesterday, <laughs> I had my camera a little crooked, and these things looked like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. If you wondered if they were going to fall over, they weren't. It was my camera, and it, it may be at the same angle today. I don't know, but just know that they're straight. They're not going to fall, um, and is that it, Elizabeth, for my explanation? But on this piece, this the midsection is an inch tall divided into a half inch and then each inch is divided in half and, I, and then I make my little marks where I want to do the black and I've done most of the black and then now we're going to fill in the rest of the black and start on the white. See you in a second. Okay, we're ready to start doing some more of these little royal squares on this glass hurricane. And I've got this, uh, it's a half inch, it's a half inch brush. And I just, I'm holding it up where you can see. I've got my markings with this little felt pen that I have for my grandkids to do art because it, it will wash out of them and everything else. And these are my half inch squares. I 
I'm not sure in what order I'll be releasing my projects, but I just finished the Critter Project where I was, probably I will do that first before this. So if you've watched the Critter Project, <laughs> I did these bookends with our daughter Elizabeth for her bookcase at her home. And so I had them all painted and let them dry for a day and then I began to put on the clear gloss. I started looking at this, <laughs> these elephants and the blue paint started to shrivel. I mean like it didn't break apart but it was shriveling up like like maybe fabric, I don't know how to explain it. Almost a crackly look, except the paint was still, it was still solid, it didn't break into pieces. But it's, it was the weirdest thing that's ever happened in all of my painting. And so I, I freaked out just a little bit, but I had to say to myself, okay, nothing's fatal, right? Can fix anything. So I just had to, I kept, putting on the gloss. I didn't know what else to do. I was, you know, it didn't start happening until after I was about halfway through. And then little by little that effect went all over the elephant part that was blue. Now the silver paint did not budge. It was just like always. But it was this blue. And the, my little uh, royal squares at the bottom and the yellow paint, just perfect, didn't do it. I don't know. I, I had combined two different paints. Uh, one was the Martha Stewart paint that said it was for glass and then I used another brand of paint and I can't remember what it was but maybe I shouldn't have mixed those two different paints I don't know but as it turns out I kept looking at it and I thought well you know what it kind of gives it some <laughs> a little interest little texture and as long as it doesn't come peeling off well the other part of that story is I was moving it over to my drafting table so that I could uh, work on the other elephant and it fell off of my turntable that I had it on and it bumped up against something on my desk paint came knocking off of it <laughs> I'm not kidding I was having a bit of a little uh, panic attack. So now I've gotten all the black around the middle and I still have a section to do at the bottom. Um, I'll keep painting while I'm telling the story. <laughs> so then I went, okay, nothing's fatal, right? And once it got good and dry, I mixed up some more of that paint because I had to get that color and touch it up. And I touched it up and let it dry, put on more of the clear gloss. Now this time I was on my second coat on most of the elephant and the, and the first coat on the part that I touched up. And I don't, I can't remember it now if that shriveled up there or not. But we've decided it looks really fabulous with a little crinkly look. So honest to Pete, you can't mess this stuff up. Little mistakes can turn out to be little special surprises sometimes. Something you didn't even expect. Okay. I'm going to, I think for time's sake, I'm gonna finish that up. And then when we come back, we'll start doing some white. And then after that, we're going to do the stripes, the stately stripes down the side, and we'll do some of that. I don't do everything for you because it would just, these videos would go on to infinity. And I know no one wants to sit here and watch this stuff that long. So here we go. Take a break. 